Oh, the future brings you to another new video. So today we'll be reading the hand of Wang Yebo. So uh, I was searching on the net and I found that this guy is very famous and that he has done a lot of things. So I can see on his hand that he's multi-talented. This is because the headline is of good length. So the headline is of good length. It's medium length. So this shows multi-talentedness and the heartline is balanced with the headline. So this shows that this person is good in a variety of things. Another sign of being multi-talented is that the uh, fate line and the sun line are coming from a very young age. So this means this person from a very young age, he uh, tried acting, dancing, singing and whatever. So I did read in his profile that he started dancing at a very young age. And if we look at the fate line, it's coming from underneath the lifeline. So basically with this, it's interesting that he had a lot of freedom in his youth because usually this is a sign of lack of freedom in the youth. But he had a lot of freedom uh, according to what I've read. But here the parents are usually strict when the fate line comes from underneath the lifeline. But alongside this, if we see the sun line is coming from the mount of the moon. So this shows exceptional fame. Uh, especially if you're in a group like he joined a group and then he got the fame so like uh, Ricky Martin the singer uh, he also has this uh, line from the mount of the moon so the, uh, similarly he was also in a group before he became famous for his solo career so similarly here we see the similarities between them because they have the similar sun lines so here if we see that the heart line now we come to the marriage aspect now if we see the heart line and there's a very strong singular marriage line there and if we time the heart line aspects and the marriage line it's 28 so i think that by 28 or at 28 he will be married he will marry soon he will marry in the next few years because this heart line is a saturnian heart line and these people tend to marry before they turn 30 so very likely that he marries at 28 he can even get married this year i can see his marriage this year or next year or even at exact 28 uh, that his marriage occurs so there's a very high chance that he gets married this year itself or the next year whenever he turns 28 now next we see that the head the headline is emerging from the uh, lower Mars. So when it emerges from the lower Mars, this shows that the person is very energetic. He's even into sports. So many people like Akshay Kumar, he's also very athletic. So we see that this type of headline emerges from the lower Mars mount. So the lower Mars mount is the area of aggression and energy. So this is why it's there. The only downside is this person can get angry easily. So with age, it lessens, but uh, they can throw temper tantrums. So that is one area where he should look out. And if we look at the lifeline, it's very strong. It's also ending early. Now, the end of the lifeline early is not a bad thing, according to my readings. It means that the person will retire very early. Not very early. If you see this, he is retiring at the age of 60. But uh, when there is no lifeline later on, this means that the person lives in luxury uh, 60 plus. Now, he's also living in luxury right now. He's very rich and famous. But at 60, he will be like, I quit everything and I'm just going to live luxuriously. So this is what is going to be his old age is going to be like. And now we next look at the hand itself. So if you see the hand, we see that the mounts are developed. Uh, Jupiter is developed. Venus is minimally developed. Moon is minimally developed. And Apollo are developed. So Apollo gives a lot of talent, multi-talentedness. Jupiter gives a lot of ambition. Venus gives passion. Moon gives creativity. But we see these are not overdeveloped mounts. Overdeveloped mounts lead to person becoming greedy. It leads to a uh, person becoming power hungry. So here we can see that this person is very balanced. And if we look at the fingers, they're very interesting. They show a philosophical side of this person. So this person is very philosophical. This person is a thinker. If you look at the fingers, but he's balanced because the headline is medium length. So there's a balance of personality. Like this person, people with medium length headlines and long fingers, they become very successful in their professional life because they have the balance. They have the balance of the headline along with long fingers gives them analytical abilities. So there's that. And if we see the first phalanges, they are developed. So when the first phalanges are developed, this means that this person is intellectual by nature. So it's very interesting that this person is good in sports, good in uh, singing, good in acting, good in dancing, good in physical and mental activities. So he's like got the perfect package of skills. If we even look at the thumb, we see that it's... Uh, the lower phalange is waist shaped so this means this person is diplomatic in dealing with others and we see that the first phalange is a bit uh, like uh, very developed but it's balanced with the uh, lower phalange so this means this person is not too stubborn is the right amount of stubborn so not too stubborn so that's also a good uh, thing so marriage wise his partner if we are going to the partner we will see that the main fate line is coming from the uh, underneath the lifeline so this means that this person will not likely marry someone in the k-pop industry because the fate line is uh, or in the showbiz industry i think he will marry someone who is simple uh, very simple uh, simple heritage uh, could be uh, a business small business owner uh, could be someone like that but the woman 
if we look at the woman's profile i think she will be curvy uh, she will have a voluptuous figure and that will be the difference between him because he's very slim so i think uh, he will find a partner like that so that's the woman's side of the thing so the per- i think he will marry a very simple woman outside of the showbiz industry so there's that as well so i've come to the end of the reading guys if you enjoy- like this video like it and if you love it subscribe and i'll see you on the next video thank you and goodbye